So, Jack, uh, you are the CEO of Sandbox AQ, AI. A is for AI, Q is for quantum. You've got an incredible uh, chairman of your board, Eric Schmidt. You spun out of MIT with uh, Google. I'm out of Google. We Ramin also were, was, Ramin we're was very MIT. involved with MIT also. Though. Yeah, yes. uh, out, out of Google with an incredible uh, seed round, I think, of how many? Uh, we raised 850 million now. 850 wow, amazing. Million. Yeah. All right, so what do people need to know about, about uh, Sandbox AQ and the quantum liquid networks, the quantum networks that you're producing? Yeah. Language but, models. Peter, it's a very exciting moment. First of all, it's great to see so many friends on the panel here and uh, in the audience. And it's, it's a beginning moment. This is the incipient moment for AI. Uh, everyone's excited, lots of businesses looking at it. But I think we're past, hopefully, the shiny object phase of AI. And now it's getting serious. Everyone on this panel has very serious offerings that really impact business and impact how Hollywood works, how many, many parts of uh, the major sectors of the world work. At Sandbox AQ, what we realize is that language models, fundamental. Everyone, it's table stakes, should be using language models to cut costs. If you have customer service because you're Delta, you're Hertz, you're Hilton, any company with thousands of customers must be using large language models to cut those costs and actually deliver better customer service. I think we all know customer service cannot get worse, you know, uh, as it's <laughs> delivered now. So it's only going to get better. But we at Sandbox AQ decided, Peter, let's actually go for a different part of the economy. Let's go for the quantitative AI, not the language AI. And what do we mean by that? If you're Sanofi, if you're a drug company, if you want to create a new medicine for cancer, uh, for Alzheimer's, for dementia, each of our families here in this room, unfortunately, will all be impacted at some point in our lives by these diseases. Language models can help. Uh, initially, when they scour and look at all the summaries of scientific literature, very, very helpful uh, to give you some ideas about what's been done before. But ultimately, Peter, if we're talking about building a molecule, we need an AI that is not trained on social media and cat pictures, but is trained on molecules and atoms. Yes. Right? That's fundamental. Right? And uh, that is the AI that Sandbox AQ is the global pace setter in. It's so, very importantly, you're not talking about using quantum computers to run these quantitative uh, networks. That's correct. You're, you're using, you know, quantum current... equations on the GPUs. Yeah. So, what kind of quantum equations are you using on the GPUs? Right. So, this is something that everyone, of course, uh, we all know and from elementary school, Schrodinger's equation, all the equations that that everyone is familiar with. But what we realized, the breakthrough that we had is that GPUs were getting so much better. We have a hardware person on the panel representing token <laughs> hardware person, thank you, on the panel. Uh, fundamental to GPUs is the ability to run in parallel matrix algebra. Imagine a spreadsheet like Excel times another big spreadsheet, uh, a million rows by a million columns, and a million rows here by a million columns. That magnitude of, of uh, matrix algebra we can actually convert the quantum equations, the equations of drugs, of treatments, of new energy, of battery storage, all that we can convert to the language of that GPU. And that's the breakthrough that we had. Now, when quantum computers come and scale, we just had a great announcement from Microsoft. People may have seen that yesterday. Another announcement from Google just a few weeks ago. These announcements you're going to see come in a great cadence, culminating in a crescendo, Peter, in about five to seven years of having great quantum computers. We'll add those to the arsenal. We'll have GPU, QPU, quantum processing unit, in one mesh cloud hybrid. But today, Peter, we use the GPUs to get the work done with drug companies, with Aramco. Aramco, I see, is the sponsor. Our newest announced customer is Aramco in Saudi. Why Aramco? Because they want to take the hydrocarbons coming out of uh, the ground and convert them to higher order chemicals using carbon and hydrogen, not low-grade fuels, but carbon composites, as an example, that could be used to make a car lighter, that could be used to make a space rocket lighter, that could be used to make an airplane lighter for Airbus or Boeing. This is the kind of transformation that we focus on with LQMs, large quantitative models, versus the, the very necessary large language models. As amazing, well. amazing. Uh, yeah, Jack, Jack is a nuclear power plant behind that man.